watching that? How, how, what kind of happened with that? Uh, I just got tangled up, up, honestly. Um, you know, I think it's probably national news now because Tom Brady did it. Um, <laughs> you know, but here and around too. I guess kind of, kind of same deal. You know, you get guys flying around your feet, and I think those things happen. I think they happen from time to time as a quarterback. It's not, the, you know, not really the first time that's happened. But uh, yeah, just got tangled up. Um, you know, just rolled up on my on my feet and my legs a little bit, but nothing serious. Thinking this, you know, because those are the, I guess, the scary ones as a quarterback. That you know, you don't really see things happening behind you. You, know, you know, feel something obviously, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. At all. Coach is just holding you as a precaution right now, kind of keeping you away from those seven on seven, eleven on eleven. Yeah, I think you know, just because I'm an old guy now, I'm getting some old legs, they're just trying to make sure I'm all right. But no, I feel good. Um, you know, I think I feel a lot better to get a 24 hour break right now. Which will be nice for not only me but all of our bodies. And it's always nice to, you know, kind of have that after we've grinded through the last four practices really we were in within, you know, 40, 42 hours. So, um, you know, that's a lot of work for everybody. Everybody's, you know, they, you know, they can feel it in their bodies and, and mentally as well. But, um, you know, this 24 hours is big for us to not only recover physically but, but mentally as well. And all the same. This is the opposite ankle. How does this compare to what you had? Oh, not, not comparable. I mean, I was. Uh, so you guys know, but I was in a boot last year, um, you know, after that and, and not really able to move around too much at all. Um, you know, so this is, I mean, last night I, I was able to run. Really, I thought I, I could have practiced uh, last night and this morning, but I think they just didn't want anything to, you know, kind of happen again. Like I said, as a quarterback, those things are, you know, things that can happen. So, um, yeah, they just make sure. Nate Martez Barr is a guy we're probably going to get to know a lot more this year. Seems to factor in a lot of uh, what you guys are working on. What do you see from him and, and what kind of players he is? Yeah, I really like what Martez has done. Obviously, when he came in uh, this spring, he, he was just like uh, what a freshman would be as far as learning this stuff and, and getting things going. Um, you know, but I think he, he learned at a more rapid pace just because of, he's been around a lot of ball. Um, you know, he's played in the Division one level, played some Juco ball. Um, you know, so he understands things well. Um, you know, but, but seeing him out there this fall is night and day from what he's done this spring. He's really, uh, you know, taken to perfecting his craft, uh, knowing this offense from top to bottom, and, and he's actually one of the guys that uh, I really feel like I can rely on out there just because of his knowledge of the game, which helps out a lot. Do you feel like he's kind of the ace up this offensive sleeve that maybe people don't necessarily know what he's capable of? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I think a lot of people are um, – I'm you know, really excited to see him out in the field. I think he's shown glimpses of, um, you know, something special out there. I think he's got a, a burst and um, you know, just some playmaking ability out there that will really help us. And, you know, he's a, a shorter, more stocky guy that does a great job. Whenever we get in live settings, you know, he breaks a lot more tackles. Obviously, when we're, you know, playing touch, you can't really see what guys are able to do. But, you know, breaks a lot of tackles, makes a lot of guys miss. And, uh, you know, definitely is a big threat out there. You guys were really high on Monday after what you guys were able to accomplish on offense and you know, kind of a down day like this. Is this just typical Grand Tour kind of up and down, up and down? You know, yeah, there's always going to be up and downs. Um, and, and ultimately, you want it to be up and down. If one side of the ball is dominating a uh, majority of camp, uh, that probably doesn't say a good thing about, you know, what's going on, you know, going into the season. Um, you know, but, but for us, you know, the biggest thing is bouncing back from uh, from rough days, you know, because it, it works like a game. Uh, or even like in the season, you, know, you can deal with times where uh, you go through a rough spell, you go through a rough quarter, and, and having the mentality to bounce back and uh, make improvements, make adjustments and get better, uh, you know, that, that definitely is something that, will show a lot about what our team will be this year. Thanks, Zach. It's good. Uh, 